a Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. It's an organization that started in 1915 by Jane Addams. Uh, Jane Addams and, uh, was the first American woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. And we're the oldest uh, women's peace movement in the world. And we've been uh, working on issues for a public benefit for uh, all this time, 94 years, and we're still going strong, working for our community, for our youth in particular, and um, for peace, and uh, no more bombs. Bread, not bombs. <laughs> okay. We also have an active Will, uh, Y Wealth branch, and I'd like you to meet our our coordinator for our Y Wealth for youth, uh, and she can answer some questions that you may have. Yeah, tell me what your name is and what what's bringing you to. Um, well, my name's Monica Kingle. Um, basically, Wolf's, Wolf's mission brought me to Wolf. The things that they stand for, their history, their um, experience. What's that now? Glenda Johnson and I had belonged before we came to Des Moines, and we started this group. This group. Oh. And Dubai, okay. in 62. In 1962. <laughs> and also the way that they connect things at, at an international level. That it's not just your local, it's it's everywhere. Um, so we're going to go through it? So what, what I am doing right now is um, trying to engage younger people to be involved in this in this mission and this you know, um, idea that Wolf has. What interested you about the... Well, was 60s the, was the big, you know, the push with, with uh, civil rights and in the beginning the civil rights movement was so getting started, of course, then. And we had always been interested in peace and justice of all kinds. Uh -huh. And uh, it was just an exciting time to be active. And we had to get one started in the morning. And nationally, we had many, many chapters. But I, I had come from Minneapolis, and we had one up there. So we had to have one. Yeah, oh, watch I know out there. It's very uneven. I don't see very well where my feet are. Thank you. The, the, the message and the, uh, uh, the concerns that wealth has are something that resonate with you think that's something that, that young people are interested in or at this point in their life? Or? Oh, in my experience, like at school, for example, when I talk to people about these issues, when, I, when I, we have a conversation in class, a surprising amount are really concerned, but they don't have any outlet. They don't, they've never done anything like this before. They've never experienced being in any kind of social justice movement. They've read about it, but they've never uh, experienced And I think the way in which Wolf works, um, a lot of young people, like I said, have an experience. They don't know how. They don't know, you know, where to go to what, how to, how to, you know, uh, output their their opinions. So um, I think an important part is just showing them these outlets, showing them they can be involved in something, and that it's possible. To, it, you know, if you care about this issue, go to this. You know, or go to that. So it's, I think it's just important to educate them that there are, you know, outlets. There's ways you can, you know, achieve something. So that's my only claim to fame. Well, that's a pretty good one, I'd say. <laughs> and these people have been so great over the years. We've had all this new blood. Our generation is is kind of... Oh, sure. Yeah. You have this? There you go, trade. And one of these? And I'm going to give you one of those. And what is your organization? Ours is just to promote um, taking things you already have and reusing them rather oh, than... Oh, amen. Well, I grew up in the 30s. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't understand the throwaway society very well. What's that? The throwaway society oh. I don't understand.